hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel so i have made some changes in the uh, project so right now you can see the hierarchy is uh, much more cleaner than before so what i did was actually i placed all the similar objects so right here we have a game object called up tiles so you can go to create and create an empty game object and rename it to up tiles so now you can see when i select the up tiles all the up tiles get selected because i made all of the tiles child of that object so this way we can hide and show them by single click now also all the chickens you can see here i have created a separate game object and placed it right here same same for the uh, coins grounds walls and in the decor i added the background and home and later on we will add trees and other decoration stuff inside that game object now also i have uh, made some changes so if you haven't watched the previous video in which i fixed the stucking problem so whenever we uh, jump our player gets stuck with the corners of the tile so what i did i uh, uh, edit one tile and i created a prefab of that tile so you can now see all the up tiles are turned into blue color so what you need to do is actually uh, on that tile we have two objects so one of this left and right so i added a circle collider at the corner and one of the most important thing about adding a circle collider is to make sure that the boundary of circle collider is greater than your polygon collider so the polygon collider should be inside of the circle collider so that our player when collides it should collide with the uh, circle collider so and also uh, make sure to add uh, a slippery material physics 2d material that we discussed in the later we in the previous video and add slippery material on the circle collider only and remove it from our polygon collider so make sure to add it on both side so on the second hang uh, on the second circle collider make sure to add it also now also uh, doing that and also make sure to edit your uh, polygon collider and drag it inside the boundary of circle collider also uh, after doing all of that you need to drag your up tile and make it a prefab now remove all the other tiles and duplicate this prefab and place it in the scene like that you can increase the distance uh, between them and uh, make it uh, big and small according to uh, your need and uh, the next thing uh, we did here is i also removed all the jumps game object so right now we i don't have any jump uh, game object so uh, also make a prefab of your jump so right now in my assets folder you can see i have a prefab called jump which is a simple box collider with is trigger set to true and tag make sure to tag it to jump now uh, we are going to place the jumps later and uh, the next thing i did is i actually uh, made a prefab of our character and also uh, the max so both our player and enemy should be a prefab uh, because in the later video we are going to instantiate enemies at the runtime so just drag kitty and max into your assets folder to make them prefab now another problem uh, we had was actually so whenever our player die uh, the uh, max character is still following our player and uh, dragging our player in the scene so to fix that uh, whenever our player dies we need to disable the script on our max character so it should not 
follow if the player is dead so to do that i uh, just go to your kitty script and in here for now we added a public game object reference to our max character so uh, simply uh, add a public game object with the name max and in the fixed update where we are checking if our kitty character is dead then also get the component from our max character which is our max script and set the enabled property to false so by this way we can disable the script on our max now uh, this is uh, just for uh, now uh, later on we are going to change this code because uh, there is a small problem with that code so uh, right now so let's first uh, drag your max character from the hierarchy and not from the prefab because if you drag it from there it is not going to work uh, and we will uh, see in the next video why uh, so uh, on your kitty character uh, in the max field uh, drag this max character into here so right now if I play my game you can see that now our player uh, max is not following and if we see on max its script is now disabled so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video